Hey, what's happening, guys? We got a package in the mail, and it says Fragile. I think that means it's from Italy. And it says, Do not cut. No cortar. No pas couper. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm guessing that's Cyrillic, so that's probably in Russian. My Russian consists of Stratnya Kokte Pujavadesh, Minyas Navud Paul. Nick Schneiden, that would be your German, and do not pe. I should actually say wedge pe. That would be Klingon. Yes, I speak Klingon, as all good nerds should. One inch equals two point twenty-five point four millimeters. Who gives a crap? This is the United States of freedom. We don't speak millimeters here, but we do, especially when we're talking science. Anyway, it's not actually from Italy. It's from Florida, the jungle, home of alligators and highlight. And it's from our good buddy, the dinger. What we got here is an IC. <laughs> this should be fun. Barry. You got cholesterol problems? <laughs> so this is the Max 6325, I believe. It is a low noise, 2.5 volt, plus 4096 volt, plus 5 volt voltage reference. And it's one part per million. So that's pretty sweet. We can hook up a little circuit here. Here, oh, you can't see what I'm doing again. I need an assistant here with a ruler just to smack me when I don't have stuff in camera. Internally connected, do not use. So pins 1, 8, and 7 we don't use. Ground trim and out. That's all we use, I'm guessing. Interesting. Oh, in. So we have 8 to 36 volts input with a 2.2 microfarad across it to ground and then our reference out with another 2.2 microfarad cap to ground. Lots of information. Electrical characteristics, graphs. else we got. More grass. Okay. Let's uh let's open her up. So she's a little eight pin jobber. Guess you could tell that from the data sheet. Don't need me to tell you things you already know, right? Uh, hopefully she's not too, well, yeah, it probably is too static sensitive, but hey, I haven't blown anything up recently. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, I know, it's tough to read. I'm sorry. What we got there is the Max 6350. Just a little 8-pin package there. Nothing too exciting. Let's see if we can't make a circuit. All right. So we've got our, on a breadboard here. Our in is pin number two. So I guess what we're gonna do here is put both our positive and negative on one side of the breadboard. So in is pin number two, one, two. That will be our voltage in. Our ground is pin number four. So that will go four. Now it's showing here a one microfarad cap on noise reduction to ground. So let's see if we got a one microfarad here. 
Boom, we do. So there's a one microfarad cap. And we shall put that between noise reduction and ground, like show. Then it wants a 2.2 microfarad cap between our VCC and ground, so we can we can do that like such. And then we're going to need a 10k pot from reference out trim to ground. Okay. We can definitely do that. Okay, so from our reference out, we need to go to one side of our 10k potentiometer. Damn it, boy, get in the hole. There we go. And then our trim goes to the wiper like that and then we just need to run a ground come on there we go and something to clip our meter on. Alright, so our next step is to give it power. It says it'll run between 8 and 30 volts. There's our power supply here. We're set for 9.1. Let's, uh, let's go 12 volts. What do you say? 12 volts? Get our setup here right at 12. All right, I think that's good. And we'll hook up our power supply. Ground first, then our positive, and we'll bring in a meter. Today's meter flavor will be the O1. 18B. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see the whole picture. I'm going to clamp on our ground here. And our positive goes here. Five point oh oh two. And now if I adjust this little trim pot. We should be able to That's real touchy. Let's just call that five volts. What do you say? Look like five volts to you? It looks like five volts to me. So everything seems pretty good here. What do you say we put it on the scope and just have a look at what the output looks like. All right. Then that's what we'll do. All right, hook our power up. We'll get our ground on here. And where did my scope clippy clip go. When you guys see it? Ah, crap. I found it. I was getting worried there. Alright, so there she is on the scope. 
we'll go channel one and we'll AC couple it then we'll zoom in so what we're looking at there is about a maximum of 42 millivolts peak to peak so let's just call it 40 millivolts peak to peak looks like we got a mean of 0 0.08 millivolt what we'll do is we'll stop this here and then we'll do a measure voltage that's the wrong thing cursors I want manual I want voltage All right, I want channel 1 what we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh, the spikes here. All right, then I want yeah, channel one. That's right. Okay, go away. Oh yeah, cursor B. Then we'll get a delta reading of what the total spike voltage is. Yeah, it's it. 39.6 millivolts not bad at all that is a, uh, a really st nice stable voltage reference I want to thank uh, Barry for turning me on to this chip and thank you guys for hanging out and watching the video thank the patrons for uh, being patrons and sponsoring videos without them you know, I wouldn't be able to be here if you're not a patron I hate begging, but consider donating a dollar a month. That's all I ask. All right. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. That's my thumb. You use yours. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Wait, 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 wait. Can't go yet. I forgot something. Let's test it against the AD 5840H which is what I use for testing all my multimeters this is my voltage standard and we will use the same voltage on it now we just have to let that warm up for a few minutes no, you know what? We didn't do the other chip like that. Let's see what she looks like. So that way we're comparing apples to apples. All right, let me turn my let me turn so you can see the screen. That's the old one. Pay no attention. All right, cursors mode off, run. Well, if you look there, we are seeing the same thing. About 40 millivolts peak to peak. Well, what if I turn it on? Dope. Well, then we're looking at about 20 millivolts peak to peak. So, interesting. So the 5840H is a little bit better. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't kick the other one out of bed for eating crackers. That uh, Max, what is it, 6350? It is absolutely acceptable at 40 millivolts peak to peak. Now I'm really out of here.
Bye.